Hello and welcome everyone into another guide video. Today I'll be presenting the way I use for playing 60 FPS and HD graphics in War Robots. But first, there are things to know before doing that. War Robots might not seem like a resource intensive game at first because it is a mobile game. However, running it on an emulator with 60 FPS and HD graphics is taxing a lot on your CPU and GPU, but mostly your CPU. The game will not run smoothly even in performance mode if your CPU is not pumping out enough power to the emulator. Let me give you examples from my own computers. I have a desktop PC and a laptop. My desktop has Intel i7 10700K CPU with 8 cores, 16 threads and 5.1 GHz overclocked speed. Now this computer is pretty beefed up and with that I can run War Robots on emulator very smoothly with little to no lag in 60fps HD graphics. Now coming to my laptop, it has a 6 core 12 thread 5600H AMD mobile CPU with 3.8 GHz boosted speed. Now compared to my desktop, this one as you see has less speed and cores and on top of that, due to being a laptop CPU, the power adapter supplies less power to it. With long periods of usage, the CPU gets overheated and clock speeds get throttled. With my laptop, I can hardly run performance mode with 60 FPS, let alone HD graphics. So after trying my steps I will give in this video your game with HD 60fps might lag a lot depending on your computer type and specs. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Ok, so there are two methods for enabling HD 60fps. The first method is pretty straightforward and doesn't require any third party apps. Launch your WR game in the emulator firstly. Then go to the settings and select performance and 60fps mode. While you are in this mode, go to the HD mode and select that or download it if you haven't already. Now after relaunching the game, go to the settings tab again. You will see that the game tells you 60fps not supported, but despite saying that your game will be running in HD 60fps. You can understand this easily by checking the FPS and smoothness in the hangar or by going to a custom game in a map like Canyon or Valley. The downside of this method is that you must repeat this process every time you launch the game and with time it can get very tiring. Second method requires a third party app called GL Tools, but there is a catch here. You need to download an old version of GL Tools as I couldn't do the trick with its latest version. Now by going any further understand that you should do this under caution, because you will have to download an APK version of the app and it might not be reliable. I have scanned it after downloading but my premium antivirus software wasn't able to detect any type of viruses. But still, do this at your own risk as I won't claim any responsibility if you encounter any problems. Alright, with that out of the way, let's move on. You need to go to Google and search for GL Tools 4.01 version and download it. I won't give any links because like I said I don't trust these sources, but it's easy and a very straightforward process. Before launching GL Tools, you need to make sure that your emulator has root option enabled. This is also a straightforward process on LD Player, which is the emulator I'm using and the one that I highly recommend downloading. I have download links for LD Player down below. Make sure to download it using that link. On LD Player, coming to the settings and then other settings, go to the root option, check enable, then save settings. Now your emulator is ready to open the GL Tools. If you want to know my advanced and game settings on LD Player, I have a detailed video on that as well. We'll be leaving its link down below. Ok, so after opening GL Tools for the first time, you'll see a screen like this. Check Text Decoder and check all three boxes down below. Then you can proceed. For the first time, your emulator might crash. That's what happened to me also, but no problem, restart the emulator and open GL Tools again. After reopening, this screen will show up, find the War Robots here, just find it and enable custom settings for this app and optimize GL SL shaders. Check these boxes, then go to GPU name slash emulation. Here, the most important thing to do is use fake GPU info, but we are going to check also use fake CPU slash RAM info. Um, we'll come to this later, but this will basically increase the performance of our emulator even more and War Robots will run in a more optimized way, let's say. Okay, 
Now we are going to use a template here. We are going to pick Adreno 630, use a template, 4 cores of CPU, use template, RAM 4 gigs by 4 gigabytes of RAM. All right. The CPU and the RAM we picked, like I said, is more about uh, optimizing the war robots, making it more optimized for the emulator to make it run more smoothly. But the most important thing here is the fake GL render, which is the Adreno 630. Okay, let's check that. Now, officially, War Robots doesn't run HD 60 FPS with this particular graphics card. Now, what we are going to do here is simple. Just go here and make it 660, Adreno 660. And War Robots runs HD graphics and 60 FPS with this particular GPU. Click OK. What we basically did here is trick the War Robots app on our emulator to think that we are running this particular GPU, which in fact we are not. But this is all needed to do to run HD 60 FPS. That's basically it. There is no other magic here. After doing these steps, you can close GL tools and then launch War Robots application. Okay, so we are in Hangar now. Let's go to the settings here and go to the graphics setup. We are still in performance. Let's click high, apply and then restart. Okay, now we are back in the Hangar. Let's go to the settings. Okay, graphics setup. And as you can see, there we are, high settings. And we can enable, as you see, we can go back and forth between 30 FPS and 60 FPS. All right, that's basically it, guys. You can enable um, 60 FPS high graphics easily by using this simple trick with the GL tools. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guide. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel and wait for amazing War Robots content basically. That's about it guys, take care and I'll see you in my next video.